are back at workout anytime or I'm back. Um, back for a back workout. Uh, came up here yesterday with Alex. We ended up not getting a whole lot done and uh, ended up just kind of leaving. He got in some catch up work on some legs and some chest that he'd missed some of the previous workouts and I really didn't get a whole lot going. So uh, today's going to be a back workout. I started the Stan Efferding's vertical diet this morning um, on a Monday just to start it through the week. Um, I'm going to post the link up right here so you can see what that's about. And uh, I'm hoping it'll give me more energy. Uh, it was pretty close and very similar to what I was already doing. Um, it increased my rice intake a little bit more and then switched over to adding quite a bit of red meat versus all the poultry that I was eating just for some of the uh, fatty acids and things that red meat contains that poultry doesn't. So I'm hoping that I can have a good back workout today. We're going to try to pull as much as we can. We're going to try to do some deadlifts and uh, some other stuff. So I'm also going to try to do some lat pull downs. Like I told you in one of the very first back videos, I had a hard time with the way the seat was structured and the pads that hold your knees down. Um, I'm hoping since I've lost a little bit of weight, maybe I can get in there and dig deep uh, with my legs and, and get some good lat work uh, as well. So it's gonna be a full day of back workout. Um, hopefully I can bring a hard back workout. That's my intention. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it and do some work. Alright guys, so we just did three sets of our deadlifts. Um, honestly, I realized I was strapping it wrong, kind of wore myself out on a couple of attempts on that 315. So, uh, but we got it anyways. And uh, now we know, because I had to watch a short video <laughs> uh, to make sure I was doing it right, which I was doing it on the opposite side. Um, so I wasn't really getting the grip that I needed, the whole point of having the straps, because they were pulling against my thumb. But, um, yeah. So anyways, we did that, went, went decently heavy for really only about the second or third time I've even attempted them uh, since March. So I felt pretty good with that. We're gonna go back to some stuff we know and feel comfortable with. I am gonna try to do some lap pull downs. Um, if I can't do that, then I'll move over and do our other style of lap pull downs. But uh, yeah, let's get to work. Hey guys, I just did the uh, bent over barbell rows that you're seeing me do. Um, I'm gonna put this in front of the barbell row. Um, it's kind of a complex movement, 
so please be real careful and be careful with the amount of weight that you're using I just did eight which you'll see in just a second but uh you know you've got kind of a lot of body weight bent over supported by your forehead and then you're pulling on top of that so it is a kind of a complex movement I would definitely say it's not for beginners um, maybe intermediate um, so if you feel comfortable if you've been lifting for a while if you've been lifting just the last three or four months you should be okay but maybe start with a lower weight than what you think because even I started with 135 thinking okay well when I dumbbell row I'm using 80s so this should be a problem um, and it wasn't hard the row wasn't hard I could probably add another 50 pounds or maybe even more but it was real taxing kind of on my back uh, on my lower back where I'm bent and kind of on my forehead so I know it sounds weird but it was kind of putting pressure on my neck so um, I'm gonna stick with the weight so we're just gonna try to do three sets I did one set I think of eight now we're gonna do two set two more sets of five each just because I don't really want to be in this position that long but I definitely feel it working my back so I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up but yeah so you'll see all three in a row but I just did those eight and I wanted to kind of make a give you a warning about it because I haven't done it ever I just saw somebody doing it and I thought I would try it um, so you definitely feel it in your back but it's a weird movement in your lower back to stay stabilized and then on your forehead which translates into your neck to stay stabilized so just be careful but uh, yeah let's get back to work Right, guys that is gonna wrap up our back workout today I hope you enjoyed the video I put in some work real sweaty real sweaty and I know my back is sweaty too just from playing back some of the uh, segments uh, so yeah put in a good uh, back workout like we wanted to do I have been coming to the gym I just haven't been posting videos for the last few days um, like I said yesterday we didn't get much done so I was just discouraged we weren't gonna film anyways because uh, we were trying to bust out some stuff and let Alex play some catch up. He kind of did a full body workout. We did some legs, did some chest, and some of the stuff he'd missed. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it for you. Um, please, if you got any questions, if you're watching these videos and stuff, or you want to know more about the vertical diet that I just started, um, you know, shoot me an email, boltonfattofit at gmail.com. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And uh, follow us on Instagram too at Bolt and Fat to Fit. Um, I think we're about 250 followers on there. Our next target's 300. So if you like the Instagram page, share it with somebody so they can see it and uh, follow along as well. 
appreciate all the support guys um, gonna get out of here it's Monday night and uh, got to do work in the morning so I'm trying to get some some sleep in between but uh, no seriously guys thanks for all the support thanks for watching along with the videos thanks for all the comments and all the positive feedback it's really really appreciated so again I hope you enjoyed the video um, and until next time uh, remember stay on your diet and do work and you'll see results all right, till next time, guys.